Hello and welcome to Slim Wallet Junkies unboxing and video review of the Haru Wallet by Kasetsu. So today we've got the blue stitched version of the Haru Wallet. There's also an orange, a green and a red and all of those are viewable on their website and there is a link to that in the description. So as you can see it comes in this nice uh, packaging. It's quite a simple cardboard envelope but nicely done. Quite a nice little touch there and with this uh, little uh, card inside just uh, thanking you for, for choosing the Haru wallet if you do choose to buy it and some ways you can get in touch with them on social media. So we can see that the uh, Kasetsu is quite a simple design. It's got um, black leather and all of them have the same black leather. It's just the stitching uh, that's different on the, the other colors. Um, and it's quite a soft leather, so it's, it's quite flexible and pliable as you'll see as we go on. And it just has a few pockets. So it's got a, an easy access pocket there on this side with a, a thumb draw slot. It's got a middle um, pocket that goes all the way through the wallet, um, which is used for cash, and I'll show that later. And then two pockets on the back. One is a vertical quick draw with the thumb slot, and one just a normal vertical pocket. So we'll load up the wallet now and we'll uh, show how these uh, quick draw slots are used. So there's one horizontal and one vertical. And I should also mention that the, the little sort of thumb slot bits in behind there is quite a nice soft um, fabric material uh, that allows the, the cards to smoothly run. So uh, those quick draw pockets are really handy for your sort of most used cards. It's nice that there's one horizontal, one vertical as well. So you can have a, a swipe card in the horizontal and a chip chip and pin card in the vertical it sort of makes the most sense but um you know you can arrange it however you want and then the uh the sort of secondary slot in the back can fit a uh, a few cards so i've got three in there now three little tight at first as it as the wallet sort of gets used and expands the lever a little bit then three will be fairly comfortable there so um you can hold sort of five cards quite comfortably in total and then we have a cash slot in the uh, in the middle so as i showed you earlier this uh, this slot uh, this pocket goes all the way through and um, so you can access it from both sides now i did initially find it quite hard to load and i think that's because it's it's new the leather's still quite firm and tough and i've got quite a lot of cards in there so i'm just going to remove a card and it will become a lot easier to load the money as you see there's a few ways you could do this you could do it as i've done with the the note folded in half or you might choose to to fold the note uh, in quarters so fold it twice um, like this and that will be easier to slide it in but might be more difficult to to get out and a little bit more hassle um, folding your notes like that but fairly easy to load the cash lot it's probably not um, a wallet that you're going to want to use if you're a really heavy cash user but perfect for someone who who wants to be minimalist needs quick easy access to a couple of cards but also wants the ability to carry a little bit of cash um, because you know the cash pocket works well um, but but not if you're going to use it really heavily it might might be a, a little bit difficult for you but um, quite nice that you can access it from both sides as I show here three notes folded in half and you can slide them in pretty easily and you've got them there for for access nice and simply and uh, not a lot of bulk added to the wallet because pound notes are quite big you're going to see those sort of overlapping on the edges with euros, you, know, you wouldn't see them come out, apart from maybe a 50 euro note would uh, would overlap slightly, but the majority wouldn't at all. Um, but it's really a good wallet, easy easy access to the cards, quick quick draw pockets are always nice, and very minimal, as I say, um, loaded up with, uh, with five cards and a few notes. I measured it at 74 um, millimeters in, in width, almost 100 millimeters in length, and then the all important thickness is is just over 11 millimeters so a very minimalist wallet a nice good good quality leather and good stitching on it and a really nice wallet we've also got um the natsu wallet coming up which is the follow-up which is just finishing on kickstarter um, in a couple of days time and we'll bring you that review shortly uh, and what is a, a really impressive rfid blocking wallet but the um the harry wallet we were pretty impressive quite a, a slim minimalist wallet uh, that keeps things simple but looks nice and does the job thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please do like and subscribe and comment with any suggestions you have thank you